Hi right, guys, Robbie 46 here, welcome yourselves back to Valentino Rossi, the game let's continue with career mode, the last two races went really well, we managed to get another, well, two wins in Moto2, struggled in the first race, but we're back on top, and we are Jerez, so let's hope that our winning streak can continue, and it is the start of turning the season around, so let's do this! Right, how many places can we make up into the first corner? It's quite a tight one, but we can get underneath. They're all leaving a pretty nice gap for me to come through. So we're in 23rd. Now 22nd, 20th, 19th. Can we go back down to 20th? Yes, we are, because Marquez has got a slight better drive out. Get underneath him again. Pacini, and to get past him. Just continue going forward and hopefully we can get a decent result again. So we are 18th, there's our teammate Siren. We are ahead of him now. And these guys slipstream. Can we get them on the brakes? Was that a bit too much of a Oh, we got one. We got two. 15th place, that is one point. Underneath Simon and Pons and we're in 11th wow this is uh, this is going well at the moment how much more how much more how much further can we uh, get up the track 10th place Corsi's up next he hasn't given us too much of a fight in the last two races he did in the first race and he isn't giving us any trouble this time either. Got a good drive out of there. We are seventh place. Going wide though. They're probably going to come back underneath. Yep, back down to ninth, eighth. All right. Now we need to get back past Nakagami. On the brakes, can we have him? No, he's on the correct side of the track. So we're just going to have to let him come through. No, we're not. We went around the outside of him. Seventh place. All right, I get to get past him. Maybe at this left hand or at the inside. Nope. He was. He got a good uh, line through there, so I had no way of getting underneath him. There we go, underneath him on the brakes. Now up to the back of Morbidelli. Sixth place. One and a half laps to go. It's all looking good. Tight hairpin. No dramas that time. Miss the apex though. Can we. Oh! Straight to the back of Morbidelli on the curb. Lost some drive up the inside. Shit. Well, we didn't deserve to uh, get in front of him then anyway. to try and get past him nice and cleanly. Here is where the AI usually slows right down, and they do. So we are back up to fifth place. Ooh, that wasn't too great on the curb. That's better. Fourth place. We just got these three guys at the inside of Rins. We just got him, just lever him aside, that's nice. Third place. Two places to go. Zarka and Lowe's, the usual suspects at the front. Oh shit, completely outbreak myself, almost went to the back of Lowe's there. Don't make too many mistakes on this lap. Ooh, right in the back of them again. Run away. wide but it's fine. Alright, we need to do this. Lowe's is going up the inside of Zarko. Has he got him? Is he going to have him? There, pretty much level peck and Zarko went off track a little bit but he's still slightly ahead of Lowe's but I think Lowe's may get him on the brakes. Yes he does, Lowe's goes into the lead. Alright, so Zarko we've got to get past first. Come on, around the outside of Zarko, that's not going to work is it? Going wide, no. 
That's going to put us on the correct side for the next right-hander. Although he has pulled away at that corner. Ooh, gone wide, completely missed that apex. Running out of time. The inside of Zaku, he went wide there. And we're on the back of Lowe's now. Can we get past him up the inside here? No. The next one. There we go, up the inside. As long as they don't try and get underneath about the last corner. Which they don't. Well, we've done it. Another win, this time at Haref. Nice big wheelie. And we are done. Whew. That was uh, a bit sketchy on the last lap. Made a few mistakes. And almost didn't get the win, but... Just managed to get it at the last possible moment. It was good. Top of the championship. And everybody's happy. Right, next race. This one is a Yamaha R1M race. Um, obviously at Mazzano because it's the only track you can do it. So I will give the AI a five second head start. Just because... I know how easy the R1M race is. So, let's go. Hopefully, we can uh, catch up with them pretty swiftly. Because the R1M races are pretty easy. Bikes are nice to use though. They're nice and smooth. They're not very aggressive. They don't move around an awful lot. You can get them in, in, into some weird shapes, but... Generally, they do behave themselves, even with traction control turned right off. So, how far behind are we? I don't think it's going to tell us. No, just because people keep bloody overtaking. We are catching them, though. Catching them pretty swiftly. Two seconds. I'm sure, we can catch them. Maybe through these right handers when we get on the brakes, that's where we usually eat a lot better than the AI. Closing already. Yeah, we're close right up there. Right on their tails now. In fact, we may be able to make some positions up here. Yes, we can, and we've got another one, so we're up to ninth. Right, so ninth place, up to 13. Oh, this shouldn't be too difficult to get to the front now. But we don't need to rush because we've still got another lap after this. Inside of Mino and Fanati, we've got Wide Day, they both come back underneath Mino gets Fanati. Get both the brakes. Yes, we can. Through the others have gone wide, so we're actually up to fifth place. The curb, getting Antonelli slipstream. Get him on the brakes, and then we can go up to third place. Ooh, Baldazaro completely outbraked himself there. Third, second place. We in well oh, back to third, sorry. Oh, Delhi is just ahead of us. Trying to go around the outside, that's not gonna work. At the inside. No, we got a slight better drive out the corner. But of course we know where we can get him. Closing on the power at the inside here on the brakes. May even be able to get Rossi as well. No, but not quite. Here, yes we can. We took a very wide entrance there, left the door wide open, and through we go into first place. See how much we can pull away then. What if they're going to try and come back? With short shifting, and give them a bit of a chance to come back. Yeah, Rossi up the inside. Could have gone up the inside again, but we would have been on the wrong side. Ooh, almost into the back of him there. 
Oh, he's gone very wide there. He was braking on the kerb and bobbling away from the pace. But gone off track. Cut back. We should be all over the back of him. In his slipstream. Short shift in. Good wide. So is Rossi. So is everyone else behind by the look of it. Alright. I know where to do this. The same place we uh, got from Delhi just a minute ago. So as we go right. Yeah, we've got a better exit anyway. So it was past him already, even before the braking zone. Oh, braking on the kerb. Wow. The R1M races are piss easy. Okay, well, just one more corner to go, and we've got a pretty big lead already. Can't quite pull a wheelie. But there we go. We won the R1M race again. That was easy. Yeah. Fastest lap as well, obviously. Like quite a bit. Oh, three seconds pretty much. I was quicker than anyone else. Anyway, guys, that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave this video a like, subscribe to my channel for more content. I shall see you guys in the next video. See you.